What's up everyone? Welcome to your legs and glutes workout. This is going to be an incredible push for you today. I am so proud of the effort that I just put in in that workout and coming to you right now afterwards. I know you're gonna feel this insane glute and quad pump afterwards. So let's go ahead and get you set up so you can rock into it, okay? We've got quads up first and then we rock into the posterior chain with hamstrings and glutes. I used anywhere from my 20 pound dumbbells for things like deadlifts or goblet squats with a heel lifted element included all the way up to my 55 pound dumbbells with a glute band for a glute bridge. So grab your bench if you have it for step ups, your glute resistance bands if you have those for abductions and also for glute bridges, and then a yoga block for heel lifted squats and be ready to push. We're pushing into failure today in those 45 seconds, three rounds and round three, I expect it to be all out. So grab your water and your sweat towel and let's crush it. All right, let's pull heels to glutes. Keep your hips nice and open. Welcome to your legs and glutes workout. We've got straight sets today, so make sure you're ready to push through three rounds of every exercise, getting close to failure at the end of the third. 45 seconds of work, so you've got time to breathe in your reps and really push yourself. I'm gonna incorporate some lengthened partials today since we are using dumbbells. I know not everyone has super, super heavy dumbbells, so I wanna give you more time under tension to get there, okay? Slow it down and pull. And remember, anytime you're a little bit lower on weight than you wish you were, that's not the only way to progressively overload. You can add a pause at the bottom. You can do a rep and a half, resting a little bit less at the top. You can add an explosive movement to the concentric portion, lower, a lot slower, or any combination of those. Wide stance, here we go, bent leg, straight leg. But for most people with lighter dumbbells, the answer is going to be resting less in between reps and staying in the rep a little bit more. Good job, two more. One. And two, stay right here. Straighten your legs, fold over. Great job, left leg up, right leg back. Drop it into a runner's lunge, opening the hip up here. Good, both arms up, lean forward. Good, place your hand down and let's twist open towards the front leg. Great work, just switch legs, same exact position. Nice long runner's lunge. Sit down deep in the back hip. Open it up, both arms up top. There you go, now open your chest towards the front leg. Beautiful, come back up to standing. Let's take it through some squats. Five, four, three, two, one. And open up the glutes here a little bit, hip extension. There you go. All right, first exercise is gonna be a front squat. Dumbbells are racked right out front. Okay, palms here, sit down, three, two, come up for two. I'm gonna start with my 20s, let's go. Great work. Keep your elbows up. If you let them drop, it'll be easier for your back to round. So keep them up, whether you're using a barbell or dumbbells here. Seven. Two. Great job. All right, round two. If that felt pretty easy for you, go ahead and go up. A deep breath. Ready? Three, let's go. Good 
Great work. You got 10. One more, four. Breathe. All right, last round. Let's go, this could be your heaviest weight that you can control with your upper body. If that's the case, stay in the rep more, okay? Let's go. And what I mean by that is sometimes your back or your grip is the thing that you're working on strengthening. Your legs are good, right? In that case, stay here. Half, down, up. Drive your chest up. Make sure you're not lifting your butt without your chest coming up first, okay? One more, and rest. 30 seconds. Whew. And we move on to a single leg move, okay? Grab water, split squat with the left leg out front. Not on the bench, unless you want to. What I want for this one, low hanging dumbbell, sit, stand, okay? Five seconds and we'll go. I'm gonna start with my 20. Let's go. If you wanna do the bench, feel free. A lot of times it takes single leg isolation work like this. Three, to really help lengthen the muscle, get us stronger equally. Wanna go up, if you're able to do the same. Here we go, round number two, same leg. Two, let's go. Good job. Pushing through the back toe and then the toe and heel in your front leg. So you're not just pushing with your toe to end up here, you're also not pushing with just your heel to end up here. Coming up like you're in a cylinder, straight up and down. 12. Three. Rest. There we go. You know the drill. One more time. Let's push it. Another way to push this is to go ahead and put your front foot up on a yoga block. All right. Let's go. Round three. It's just an option. Creating a deficit. Come on, we gotta push, let's go. Push. Seven. Two. Good job. And I want the same thing on the other leg. Try to use the same weights to progress through this one. All right. I want you to feel like you're doing a leg press with the front leg. If you were in a gym doing a leg press machine, 
you're pressing the floor away from you today. All right, here we go. Right leg, two, one. Good job. Great job. You might feel your back leg getting a little tired. It's okay. It's fine. Focus on the front leg. Five. Two. Good work. All right, let's go up if you can. And a lot of us can. All right. Great job, come on. Four. Round two. Let's go. Something else to keep in mind, keep that front leg out. Good work. I feel you, you're doing great, don't stop. We got 10. Good job, come on. Two more, let's go together. Five. Rest. Last round. Come on up, if you are able. Ready? Round three, come on, four. Max it out, you gotta press that floor away from you. Here we go. Good job, quads. Come on, don't give up on them. 20, push the floor away. Keep everything else tight. Nine, push. Finish strong, three. One more. And rest. Grab something to lift your heels off the ground. Heel lifted, goblet squats. <sighs> Holding the weight at your chest. All right, I'm gonna start with my 20. Heels up, dumbbell stays very close to you. Ready? Let's go. Make sure you're not holding the weight away from your body. There you go, strong legs. 14. Two, one, great work. Now, if your back is tired, you have the option to throw the dumbbell here or hold two of them down by your legs, okay? Two, one, come on. And by the way, this isn't a cop out. We will push our back muscles hard throughout the month as they support us through these lifts. I just need you to be able to push well right here. Come on, push your toes into the floor. 10. Oh. 
three. Breathe. All right. Round three. Come on. You're doing so good. Stay with me here. Four. Two. Let's go. Quad dominant, quad dominant, come on. Twenty. Good job. Ten. Two more, let's go, four, push one more, three, and rest. We've got step ups up next, box or bench, and if you don't have either of those, you're doing forward lunge to knee drive, and then step back and switch. <sighs> okay, step ups, here we go. Alternating left, then right, for 45 seconds. All right, I'm gonna start with my 20s, and together we go in four. All right, let's go. Just like in our split squats earlier, power all the way up with that one leg. And if you're not able to get all the way up with just one leg and you find yourself coming here, bailing, then standing, lighten your resistance, okay? Lower the weight so we're all the way up, then second leg comes. Two, rest. Come on, breathe deep. Up and wait if you can. Four. Big push, two, one, come on. Up. Trust yourself, trust your strength, trust your legs. Ten. Three. Rest. One more round. If you want to get options out, let's do that. Okay? Big deep breath. Yes, we can. Come on. Up, up, up. Come on. Drive through the bench. You got 12. Five. Two, one, and rest. Did one extra because I started a little bit late on that one. Oh. Big deep breath. Back squat with calf raises. So we'll move this guy out of the way. Throw in a dumbbell on your back. At the top of your squat, lift your heels. Okay? Four. Let's get it. And as you lift your heels, tighten everything else up. Core, glutes. 
Then sit again. Fifteen. One more, three. Rest. All right. Check it in. Let's go up if you can. Two, one, come on. If you leave your hips behind you on the calf raise, you will feel like you're very much falling forward. Bring them forward, then lift your heels under your hips. One more. Rest. All right, let's go up if you can. Last round. Two, one, come on. Ten. Come on. Drive with me. Two. One. Thirty seconds to rest. Whew. We're moving down to the posterior chain. Romanian deadlifts up next. If you have a barbell or you want to use anything beside dumbbells, go ahead and get them out. It's right here. Okay. I'm gonna start with my 25s, and we go together in four. Two, one. Little bend in the knee, shove the glutes back so they're stretched, then squeeze forward. You do not have to be stiff-legged, okay? You can bend as long as your shins stay perpendicular to the floor, meaning you're not sitting more. You can shove your hips back more to cause a little knee bend. That's totally fine. There we go. Ten. One more. Three. Rest. I know you're feeling very tired right now. I feel you. You're doing great. If you can keep that same weight and do some partials with me in this round, Let's do that. Two, one, here we go. Halfway up, come to the knee, quad area, then back down, then stand. Oh yeah, there we go. And if you're not ready for partials, full range of motion, just like last time. We will get there. This is a progressive program. Nine. Two. Rest. One more round. Keep the partials. If you can go heavier, come on. I know I'm really pushing you and I know you're really strong. So go to where 
You know you're working your hardest. And you know that, not me. Come on. Only you know your hardest work. If you're ever in question, I'm here with you. Okay? I'm working my hardest as well. Whatever your strength is today, more than me, less than me, we go together. Doesn't matter our dumbbell weights, it matters our effort. If you're all out right now, I am so proud of you. Thirteen. Six. Two. And rest for 30. We're going to hamstring curls on the ball or the slider, or you can curl a dumbbell. Okay? I'm gonna use my dumbbell. All right, we go in 10. Four, two, one. Come on, let's go. When you're doing these, if you're doing them face down, don't let your butt lift up in the air. Keep it pressed down. I like to think of my hips driving to the floor actively as I lower. There you go. Four. Breathe. And if you can go heavier, let's go up. Another option is, again, your partials. All the way down, halfway up, all the way back down, then finish the rep. Ready? Let's go. And you're just spending a little bit more time in the lengthened position. Previously, I've called them reps and a half or a rep and a half. Eight seconds. Two, one. All right. Heavier if you are able. Quick transition, and we go again. Then our 30 second rest. Ready? Two, let's go. Come on, go there. I need you to be comfortable with failing on this one. Second half, come on. Eight. Two, one, and rest. I could not get that last one up. Proud of myself for that. Proud of you for that effort. That's the kind of effort we've got to have. You're working so hard that you think, that's my max right there. And be in that as much as we can today. We're going to lay down for glute bridges or hip thrusts up next. So grab your heavy weights, okay? Four. Let's get it. Also, if you want to go on the bench for actual hip thrusts, that's fine. That'll give you a bigger range of motion. Let's 
17. All right, heavier if you can, or add your glute band. And or add your glute band. All right, ready? Round two, let's go. Let's go, let's go, 14. Five. Rest, all right, I'm gonna add our glute band. Do the same if you can, or go heavier. Ready? Round three and three. Let's go. Drive out against your band all the way down and up. Almost there, 12. Nine. Two. And breathe. 30 seconds. Sumo Romanian deadlifts. Oh, we're doing great, guys. I hope you see you're not alone in working hard right now, okay? Sumo RDLs, you got two dumbbells or one, totally up to you. All right. Let's go. Five. Dig your heels in, tight back, let's go. And yes, your back has to flex before you go. So don't start lifting, then start trying to correct your back on the way up. Eight. One more. Breathe. Round two, let's go. Stay with me, 12. Rest. Last round. Up if you can. Stay right there if you need to. Three. Let's go.
Dig your heels in, keep your back strong. Fourteen. Eight. One more. Rest. Oh. Thirty seconds. Grab a band. And we've got abductions. I'm gonna go with my medium band, fire hydrant style. If you wanna do standing, totally fine. Okay. Eight seconds. Ready? Leg away from the body. Two, one, come on. If you don't have a band, you're clamping dumbbells between your hamstrings and your calves. This is great for hip stabilization. So keeping your hips strong during things like squats and deadlifts and lunges. It's also really great to target the glute medius, which is that top part of your glutes closest to your tailbone. Two, one, Breathe. If you've got anything left, turn it up. <laughs> I am holding on right now. I'm going hard with you. But if you can go harder, let's go. 45. <sighs> Lengthen partials here. Look like this. Up, halfway, up, down. Go for it if you can. Twelve. Five. Breathe. Okay. Last 45 seconds of work. This is it. Heavier band, lengthen partials, whatever you can to make sure you get to that point of, I can't do anymore. Let's go. Start now. Don't wait till halfway through and then turn it up. Go hard now. Any workout noises you need to, make them. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Come on, I'm with you. Do not let yourself down. All the way through, 12. Two. You have made it to your cool down. <sighs> Stay right here, hands and knees. I've got a minute and a half built in here with you. <sighs> Inhale, fill your lungs up, let your belly relax. Exhale, lift it up. Again, inhale. Exhale, lift it up. Last one, big deep breath in. Lift it up as you exhale. And then walk your hands forward, drop your hips, open your chest up. We made it. You will see these exercises throughout the rest of the month. I will be challenging you in different ways, okay? But just make sure you work on ankle mobility. It is such a huge part of squat depth. Make sure you work on hip mobility. It is such a huge part of your glute activation and glute range of motion. Okay, tuck your toes, lift your hips up. So for example, right now, if your heels are on the ground and you can lean forward just a bit, that's great. If your heels are on the ground and you're kinda 
toes on the ground, heels up because your ankles are so tight right here. Let's work on that. Walk back. Okay, you can take the band off if you have one on still. Slowly make your way up to standing and if you have something to grab onto, head over to it, quad stretch. Heel to glute. Amazing job today. That one was everything. At the end of these workouts, switch legs. You should feel like this. Proud, accomplished, and you're going throughout the day knowing how hard you worked here. It also has to be reflected in how hard you're working outside of here. Okay. All right, hands on your tailbone. Gentle push forward. Don't let your workouts go unsupported. Okay, and the way that you work towards your goals in the workout, just imagine yourself working that hard outside of here, okay? Shift your hips left and right. A lot of times, the hardest part is in between workouts, but that's where all the recovery and the true strength happens. We tear it down here so that we cause a need to rebuild outside of here, okay? So if you don't have all the nutrients in your body to build, to repair, to get stronger, to come back not feeling fatigued and sore in between workouts, your actual workouts aren't gonna be as great as they could be, okay? Hip circles. I say all this to you because I know you want your workouts to feel great. There's no better feeling than showing up and crushing a workout, which doesn't mean the workout is easy. It means you had enough in your tank to push yourself your hardest. And the workout numbers, or the, excuse me, the dumbbell numbers, at the end of the day, what matters is your effort. Not whether I glute bridged a 30 or a 55 today. How hard did I work my glutes today? You're gonna have different sources of fuel in your body, different levels of energy every day. That's okay and that's expected. What you cannot fail on is supporting the workouts and more specifically your goals outside of them, okay? In between the workouts is where a lot of the hardest work actually occurs. So think about yourself working the way that you worked here in your dedication to your nutrition plan, to the program, to the goals that you have for yourself in terms of eating, sleeping, mental health, and hydration. Accompany that with mobility work, helping your hips open up so that you can get all the way up in a glute bridge to squeeze well enough. If your hips are tight and you can only get to here, you're not getting that full glute activation. Same with your ankles. I mentioned ankle mobility. If you get into a squat and you start rolling up onto your toes because your ankles are tight, you're not getting as low as you could to activate as many of the muscle fibers in your lower body as you can. Ankle mobility, hip mobility, nutrition, and sleep. Let's work on it. I will see you back here for our next workout. Great job today. I am so proud of you.